The problem is the hook <laughs> is committal, and that's what Mickey was using a lot of the time. And this is just so, so all in e dive. Port. Hans and Mickey into mid to try and get the shove there as well. The problem for G2 is if they do look for an engage, they still have the TP where Caps does not. So this could very quickly turn into a 5v4. Broken Blade very low on Rage as well, starting to build it up as he jumps onto Ona. He's only a third of the way there so far. Ona going lower though, Dustbringer coming out, double flash as Mickey looks for the flash hook. Meanwhile in the bot lane, Caps is trading up with Zayas. Carrier going back in, Faker with the Spirit Rush has two charges left. G2 need to get away because Faker can look for another Spirit Rush, another Orbit Deception won't find too much more. G2 start up the Grubs, they're quite hurt. Though. Up to the top lane only a few moments ago. If they try to invest, obviously Zayas can join the battle and they would be at a numbers disadvantage again. They won't battle against it. See Yike just hovering on Looks somewhere. like they're just going to shift Faker up towards that top side. I wasn't sure if they just went all in on trying to burn that flash, but Mickey. Oh, Faker goes in with the Spear Rush, the Charm landing as well, and Mickey is done for. First blood in the first two games. Mickey dies, Ona takes the kill. By Ari, mm, pretty good. Then here I for G2, when they do actually go to try and contest on towards those next round of Void Groups. It's interesting because Broken Blade doesn't have Teleport, but Owner's actually heading towards Broken Blade rather than the Void Groups. Yes, looking for this play down towards the bottom side. Broken Blade flashes immediately met with a fist in his face. Broken Blade trying to get away from this. Obviously, has to try and escape from Owner who flashes forward. Another Vault Breaker, Broken Blade trying to dodge it. Owner holds it forever. Owner. Finds another as Broken Blade can't escape his clutches. There was no escape there. Good pressure here to answer for some of the turret places. Faker, no way he catches Mickey again. You put everyone on pause. Wait, yeah. what? You said that? <laughs> Everyone's like. <laughs> oh, Mickey looking for the hook here. Uh, so Yuck can come in with the paranoia. There's the depth charge as well. The chase forward. Kerry has joined his mid laner. Faker flashes away. The ignite no. ticking on him won't be enough. There's the stun into the shield of the rape. They break into the solar flare into the death. Yike! Rob, <laughs> you know it was heard around Europe. They were so close, but they just couldn't quite find the damage to kill off Faker. Oh, I'm heartbroken. We were so close. Oh. Mickey, though. Another Zenith Blade. Ona has cease and desist here, but I don't Used think... to kill Mickey. Now it's kind of the reverse situation, and Faker did get that little, uh, you know, sight of Mickey. So good vision toggle by the observers. And then the engage comes through from Mickey, and it's a nice setup carry here to try and help, but... Oh, bot side. Oh, Zayus flashes away. He's hit with a house. And Caps and Broken Blade find a kill. Carrier's looking to collapse save as well as Guma Yushi, but this tower is already quite low, down to one plate remaining on it. Carrier going in with a Zenith Blade. Guma Yushi there with a deadly flourish as well. Broken Blade still pretty tanky, though. Yikes here to join the fray. Has the paranoia. Can't go into Guma, but there's a flash and a barrier on that AD carry, making it a little bit more suspect to go for the dive. Ha Mickey and Hansa They're are starting coming. to collapse, and this will be first tower over to G2. Faker even dropped off that top tower, trying to move down still, to... I think it's a hugely beneficial kind of response uh, from G2, because they get the... See the lane economy snapshot brought to you by Mastercard. Very much in favor of owner no big surprises there broken blade trying to hide him. in the top lane he's going to tp away will he escape you can see it on the mini map the counter strike finds him alongside the cease and desist and broken blade doesn't have a hope in hell of escaping this one zayas leaps on his face and takes another 4-1 now to t1 it's interesting that they have such a uh, bounty on G uh, on broken blade's head it feels like uh, and, and i'm going to keep looking for kills on him and try and really put that nar behind to the point that Zeus is going to be able to control side lanes. Faker is going to be able to Another get hits. Another charm hits once again. Mickey thought he was safe in his own jungle, but there is nowhere safe from T1. And this is the moment in the game, in game one, where we saw T1 begin to explode it away from G2's grasp. You can see already two and a half thousand gold ahead. Now with the Riftile charging through mid, they're going to open up the map and make it so much more tricky for G2 to do anything. Charm wide there by Faker, but he's just creating space. The Solar Flare hits. Hans Summer has to burn the cleanse. And Zeus is on the oh. flank. The counter strike. Strike Hans Summer flashes it. Riftail charge forward. Zona can jump across that wall and look for Hans Summer. Yike with a fear. Only onto Zayas. They're looking for the damage. The shockwave will find him. Hans Summer surviving up towards the top side for as long as he can in the face of Ona. But now he's down and Kerry is down alongside him. G2 find two. They lose their mid tier one. Can they find anything more? I think the answer is no. Of caps, and that's where exactly where you want it. The big shockwave plays are going to be the ones that you need to try and leverage yourself back into this game. You have the Nocturne delivery. We'll see if they're able to make something. It won't be now because, of course, they're splitting and trying to grab tower first. I think it still will be a little tough for G2, though, because Caps has gone for this more defensive build. Up and in towards the Zanyas first means he doesn't already have that big firepower. I think it's the correct Ooh. way to go. One in control of the game. About 3,000 gold ahead. 
A Drake apiece means there's no soul point soon, but we see Caps pushing in the top lane and the TP behind. Zayus on the collapse, has the flash, Caps goes one way, Zayus goes the other, now he tracks back, knowing that Caps is there, the paranoia coming out is Mickey, and Yike looks to collapse, a flash away from the shockwave from Zayus is gorgeous! And once again, Zayus in this series puts G2 he in there. He just play. complete his Rage Blade, so they, they definitely have some really good looks here. Evie's just finished his Mega now and he's gone in. He still gets the Gnar into the wall. The backline, Gumiyushi flashes away. The Shockwave, I think we're a little bit early there. His Broken Blade is forced low. Spirit Rush forward by Faker as T1 begins to collapse. And Mickey's burst on the menu again. Faker with a Spirit Rush across the wall, looking for Yike. No curtain call connects and G2 are able to walk away. Great target selection two, from... Two dragons in this game. Timing really has been the biggest advantage for T1. I feel like not only the defensive Bar kind of T1, right? So I think it's more, as you can see, like losing side lane turrets for investing on that bottom side. And again, T1 playing off wave states excellently, pushing mid, catching out G2. And now G2 trying to move in mid, but they could get collapsed on from behind. There's a pincer movement brewing here. Teleport. See the TP behind, that's Baker. Faker. Counter TP being used by Broken Blade, Curtain Call coming in as the stopwatch is used. Dion onto the back line, jumps Kuma Yushi, a good shockwave as well onto Zayas. And now we see Hansama having to try and get away from this owner going in as he puts the damage down onto Caps. Owner flashing away, Zayas the same, the killer instinct from Hansama gets Zayas in response. Now Faker diving around the fighter hook coming out. Broken Blade trying to get into the Mega Nar. He'll jump on their heads. Goomba stopped them, Faker escaping. Carry him slammed into the wall. On the top side, Yike killed off Kuma Yushi and G2 somehow. Find a fight! Only Faker gets out alive! G2 are gonna get some extra money with the tower mid, and Faker just barely does so. Broken Blade hunting for him, but he's not gonna find the hiding spot. G2, strike back. Wow. Team. Looking at each Side other's screens glasses. as well during the paranoia to get that little bit of extra vision. I love the not using the shock rate, but immediately they do! Paranoia in, Faker down, solo play onto the back line as well. We see Han Summer falling for it, Mickey trying to get into this fight. Broken Blade on his way across as well. Carrier owner there as well with Guma Yushi trying to get away. Doesn't have the flash. Owner doesn't. Carrier goes back in with the Zenith Blade. He's a sacrifice. A sacrificial lamb for G2. As there's two more on the board for them. Keep the pace up. G2, they do not. Is it going to be a dangerous face check? Or are they going to try and get control of the mid wave first? Thank you. Looking for the hook. There's the charm. Deadly Flush going in, Owner looking for that back line, the Solar Flare hits two, Paranoia coming out, Owner can't go in with the engage, Zayas now locked out, pops the stopwatch to buy himself a little bit of time, he's feared though, the Shockwave hits onto Owner as he looks for the engage, goes in with the season assist, the Guardian Angel still sitting on Owner's shoulders, will bring him back to life, Broken Blade with a good double now into the wall, Owner trying to get back in with that shield from the Vault Breaker, but he will fall, Baker can't escape, Broken Blade, Gumiyushi now trying to dance his way away, but the, the eyes are on Carrier for G2, they're looking for one more, Gumiyushi will have the fleet, will have the moves speed from this Jin. Broken Blade chucks a house out, can't quite land it on Takuma's back. Caps with the dissonance, there's the slow from the red buff. They dodge the captive audience, and Goomer's down two. An ace for G2. G2 are coming alive, this combo finally Faith working. It's still going to be a G2 Baron. Now you said it in game one, Kobe. G2 the push then sets up for that big shockwave as well. And it's after that, again, just moving back, buying space here. On the here transformation of the Nar as well. Now with the Baron buff, they can get so many rewards. Tier 2 tower doesn't stand a chance. That's another 800 gold for the team. Immediately picked up. Void Mites from their oh, six oh, Void Grub spotting well. out. Baker being forced back to the Fountain. Has the Flash, has the TP, but G2 are trying to open up the base. Owner looking for that flank. His GA not back off cooldown yet, about half the way forward. Inhibitor tower and inhibitor for G2 in the top lane. They take a gold lead for the first time. Hurry to try and help him out, so looking to go for that cross map. Just G2 though, dropping, only playing off of two waves. So the safe uh, with his Zonias in the back line, just constantly providing so much threat. Uh, so we'll see here. You even have another stasis built by Hansama. It's just so durable for G2, they're just bullying them. Solar Flare, Hansama dodges, only gets slowed. Broken Blade goes in with an arm only onto Owner. Zayas is TP'd in behind, and he dives onto Hansama immediately. And Hansama has a stopwatch, but he doesn't have much life left afterwards. He manages to get away with the killer instinct, but Mickey and Caps are only down. Owner face past the wall this time. Broken Blade left it to his own devices, and T1 clean him up. The flash in from Zayas with a counter strike. Mickey trying to dredge line his way out of this one, but Faker's on the chase, as is Carrier. And Mickey, those hooks are sending you to Davy Jones's locker. Baker will take it. T1 will take the fight. Mickey is gone six feet under, but it G2 cannot fathom how T1 have got in behind them so consistently. It was a delay played on the TP. It's a delay take on Mickey because 50 seconds until Dragon will deny a lot of control to G2. But T1 again, these 
Wait, Zeus has hiding once again. Look at him. You can see Mickey's only just getting off towards where the red buff is. The paranoia comes out. It's Guma that secures the Drake. They're looking up towards the top side. Zayas caught out with the paranoia, gets the counter strike, but there's the fear as well. The killing instinct coming in from Hansama as they look to catch out Zayas. The rest of T1 trying to come back to defend their top laner, but Zayas will be down before they can get there. G2 find one. Go they mid, lost go the mid. Drake, they lost the soul. They go mid, Kobe. They can hear your call. G2 knocking on the doors of the Nexus now is T1 trying to defend. Shockwave is still open available for Caps. You have to be so careful as T1 as you try to defend this. How much do G2 want to try and take Super Minions on the top side as well? It's so big! Three inhibitors here, you're gonna get... Uh, well, can they get three? Top just respawned. He puts this one control board down. All Ona needs to do is get into this pit, and he might be able to snipe this away. The curtain's open, and Encore for Guma Yushi. Ona gets it! He gets it! it! <laughs> and he takes it! Ona will pay the ultimate price for his ability to steal the Baron. He keeps T1 in the game, and G2 just couldn't dot their eyes and cross their T's. Fight back against the Baron buff. They should be able to get another inhibitor for themselves, but T1 with that Baron buff should be able to defend. The tankiness the minions get from the Baron buff, they'll be spawning. In a few seconds time for T1, there they are. They'll help them defend. Faker goes in, that charge, Shockwave! There's two knocked up, but Zayas is already on the back line. The Narc coming out from Broken Blade as well. Zayas is doing so much work. Caps down, Hunt Summer running for his life. Faker charms up Broken Blade. Zayas is just ripping through G2. Yeah, Faker survives on the back line. Yike trying to do everything he can. The paranoia will help him take out his enemy jungler. Hunt Summer trying to survive here. Zayas has to call off the chase. But T1 once again hold on to the game. Hunt Summer looking for those void seekers as well. Baby is half health though. Faker did a good job of chucking him out. As Zayas now stepping forward. Nobody willing to hit him. G2 G2 behind, push back. behind is Faker. He's looking for the spirit rushes up in a second's time. Faker's met by Yike. Mickey on the front line. The shockwave going out as well. Broken Blade lands the knob. It doesn't get a stun onto anyone. And G2 disengages. Engage. They're desperate to try and get anything here, but Match. T1. The Super's pushing in the top side. G2 have control of the river right now. Solar player, Hunt Summer only slowed. The Caps is the one they dive into and immediately assassinate him. Caps is swimming with the fishes and Hunt Summer is going to join him. T1 immediately pounce and G2 don't know what hit him. T1 are forever clutch and G2 are finding out about it in the worst possible way. Zayas chasing down Broken Blade as T1 turns towards the outer yike the last one was stolen can you find revenge use the blast cone to jump onto caps's head even with these defensive items we keep Being pointing out the last two years looking to defend their world title a minute left on this elder dragon as well it means that two more waves that you have to try and hold off but i don't even know if you get that Team One can just start to look at Nexus turrets off this wave. It's got to be something miraculous. You've got a GA on Guma Yushi, you've got Faker with the Spirit Rush, the curtain's open. I don't think G2 is getting a second act. The dive onto the back line by Yike, but immediately he is low. Caps already assassinated on the back, and T1 are just ripping them to shreds. T1 absolutely melting G2 under their Nexus towers. History doesn't repeat itself, but it damn well rhymes. It's another Friday, it's another T1 win. These were the best highlights from today's World's 2024 matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say, okay. See you on the next one.